I know this might sound like an odd question, but it could make the difference between success and failure in your digital marketing. So here's the question. Are you pushing or pulling customers? Depending on your product or service, you could massively improve your success if you switch strategies. In this video, I'm going to show you the difference and I'm going to give you tips on how to make push marketing work for you. So what's the difference between push and pull marketing? Most web marketing strategies rely on pull marketing. SEO and pay-per-click are examples of pull marketing. If you're relying on pull marketing, your entire strategy depends on prospective customers being proactive. Your customer needs to think, hey, I wonder if anyone sells this thing I suddenly realize I need. Then your customer has to type the right keywords into a search engine, and hopefully they might see your ad or search result and click through to your site. The whole process expects a lot from the customer. It assumes your customer identifies a need, knows that a product or service like yours can satisfy that need, and then comes up with the right keywords. If your product or service is in a well-known category, pull marketing like this can be effective. For example, if you're selling a kitchen appliance, like a microwave oven, it's likely people will know they need to search for the keywords microwave oven. But if you're selling a new kind of kitchen appliance no one has ever heard about, you're going to be out of luck. No one is going to type the right keywords when they don't even know your product or service exists. Or you could be selling a product or service that's in a well-known category, but it has special features no one knows to look for. Maybe you're selling a common appliance, but you need people to type extra words in their search to describe a feature the world doesn't know about yet. If your product or service is unique or has unique features that may not spontaneously come to the minds of your target market, you should be using push marketing. So what's push marketing? A good example of push marketing is a targeted social media ad, an ad being pushed to an audience that meets certain criteria. So if you see an ad in your feed, Facebook may be pushing this to you because you're a 30 to 35 year old male or Facebook thinks you're interested in a certain topic, like dogs. Push marketing depends on the advertiser being able to select an audience made up of people who may not know they need the product, but will fall in love with it when they see it. When you push market, you're starting the conversation. You're not waiting passively for the customer to find you. Social media marketing is a great option for push marketing, but it's expensive. Many organizations pay five to $10,000 a month to run social media ads, and it's getting even more expensive because of new privacy rules. Stricter privacy rules make it harder for social media companies to track activity and categorize people based on interests. Audiences can only be broadly defined, which means that advertisers pay to display ads to many people who aren't remotely interested in their product or service. You can waste a lot of money pushing ads to people who are not really in the right target market. But don't despair, all is not lost. I'm going to tell you five ways you can be a better push marketer. Hashtagging. Most organizations don't do a very good job of hashtagging social media posts. They miss out on more than 80% of the hashtags being used by their target market. Think of social media as a giant cocktail party where people are standing around talking about different topics. Hashtags are the way groups of people on social media identify themselves as being interested in a topic. Tagging your posts with the right hashtags lets you micro-target these audiences and expand your reach. But simply using hashtags isn't enough. You need to have a way to monitor the hashtags that work. If you track which hashtags generate traffic that converts, you can focus your efforts on the right audiences. This can have a huge impact on the success of your push marketing because it can help you develop a profile of your ideal prospect. Content. Most organizations don't post enough content on their site and social media. You need a lot of content. Content marketing is a volume business. It can be very hard to predict which content will get the most engagement, so it's risky to put all your eggs in one basket. 
it's often unpredictable which content will be popular. Creating the amount of content you need to be effective isn't practical. You need to work smarter, not harder. For this reason, I recommend a curation strategy. Using curation, you can increase the volume and variety of content you post without massively increasing your workload. Because video gets 10 to 12 times more engagement than text, make sure you post a lot of video content. Social media. You'll need a much larger social media presence than you have now. Although most organizations think they can get the job done with a single account on each social media platform, the reality is that you need many more. Split testing. Push marketing without split testing is like driving blind. I can't emphasize the importance of split testing enough. When you're push marketing, you're essentially interrupting your prospect while they're doing something else. You're jumping into their life and saying, hey, have you considered this thing I want you to buy? The whole interaction starts with you and the marketing content you put in front of your prospective client. You need to be sure the message you're using is effective. In a typical split test, you'll push web traffic evenly to two different ads or pages on your site, so you can determine which message works best. You need to run these tests scientifically or your push marketing could be driving your marketing into a ditch. You'll find a video that talks about split testing in more detail on our Mondo Player YouTube channel. The video is called, How Much Traffic Do You Really Need? A lot of traffic. Push marketing generates cold leads because you're reaching new prospects and targeting new audiences. Push marketing has to be done at a large scale to be successful. People who come to your site from a push marketing strategy were not shopping for your product or service until you planted the idea in their minds. So you're going to need a lot of traffic before you see enough conversions to make this strategy worthwhile. That's why push marketing doesn't work unless it's done on a large scale. So you need a reliable way to push a constant flow of targeted traffic to your site for less than it costs to pay for social media ads. Social media is a noisy, chaotic environment. To break through all the noise and reach your target market, you have to operate at a much larger scale and take a strategic approach. At Mondo Player, we help you achieve these goals. Based on extensive research and experience with clients, our team has developed a proprietary process. Using techniques we have proven to be effective, we help you quickly build targeted traffic using a professional approach. What we offer is very different from SEO. Search engine optimization isn't enough on its own to get you to the level of targeted traffic you need. Within 30 days of getting the Mondo Player concierge service in place, our clients see a massive jump in targeted traffic. Our clients continue to get this traffic without having to create massive amounts of content and manage a large social media presence. Our service frees up your time and lets you focus on your push marketing efforts. We deliver a turnkey solution that transforms your push marketing. We do it all for you. We also provide a turnkey platform so you can easily split test your sales funnels so you can measure the performance of your push marketing and get the most out of the traffic we bring to your site. If you'd like to learn more about Mondo Player's concierge service and how we can supercharge your push marketing, click now and book a call with one of our senior team members. This won't be a call with a salesperson or a call center. You'll speak directly on a Zoom call with one of our management team who will ask you about your objectives and evaluate whether this is the right solution for you. We'll discuss your marketing strategy and you'll learn how this type of marketing can work for you. We only offer this opportunity to selected clients who want to benefit from an evidence-based, results-driven marketing solution. If you're serious about building a large volume of targeted traffic and increasing your online sales, and you want to work with professionals who can get you there, click now and book your free consultation.